in this box here is the world's cheapest gaming set. I was scrolling on Amazon the other day and up came this, this £178 gaming set. Seems a little bit too good to be true, I thought. But I started reading the description. Apparently this thing comes with a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and most importantly, an entire PC with questionable specs. But on the image, the PC looks empty, so I went ahead and bought it to see if this thing actually is an entire game set up for £178. And then at the end of the video, we're going to compare it to this setup here, which I built completely for free. And we're going to see which one is better. So, let's get this thing open. Okay, so um, this doesn't look amazing so far. <laughs> <laughs> Keyboard's looking good. Looks like they've already opened it for us, which is nice of them. Slide open, and we got a, uh, a keyboard and mouse ready to use. Oh, it, it doesn't sound amazing. Let's just compare it to one of my nice keyboards. Next of all, we've got the mouse. It clicks, so I guess that's a, a positive. This is the packaging they've decided to put in here. What the hell is this? But there is. A monitor. <laughs> Not the best of wrapping either. Doesn't look like it takes HDMI. So that's good. Tilts though, look at that. It does, it does have a tilt on it. Let's just put that there. And now we've got the PC. Are you ready to take gaming to the next level? You better believe I am. I'm actually really intrigued to see if this thing has any parts in it because <laughs> if you have a look here, they've really, really creatively blurred the side of the PC so you can't see what's in it. That is very worrying. This might just be a case. Oh, oh, that's nice as well. Yeah, look at this. So there's two holes in the back. Probably where some rats have got in. That's really, that's a great sign. Oh my God. I'm trying to see if this thing has any product specs on it. It just says two RGB fans, a window and a compact design. I know you branded this as a PC and it's just a case. Okay, here we go. Are there any parts? Oh, okay, there is a motherboard. It looks like there's a graphics card. Oh, there is! There's actually parts in this thing. There is an actual PC in there, oh my God. I mean, this PC is as light as anything. Like, it honestly is, like, <laughs> it's so light. People comment and say, stop throwing it around, bro. It, this probably costs about 2p. There is something else in the box. There's a USB here. Oh, is this Wi-Fi? <laughs> is that not, is that not a Wi-Fi port? So this is the setup that you can get yourself for £178. How much is that like? Probably like $210? We need to actually make sure this thing turns on first. This could not just turn on. They haven't provided any cables, but it does all just seem to be kettle leads. So we can just hook this thing up. First cable going in. I'm gonna stand back because this just could explode. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh! My word, it actually boots! And it's got RGB as well, look at that! You know what, I'll give it a few points for having some RGB lights. The fans are running, the graphics card, oh my god, look at that graphics card. What graphics card is that? A GT710 2 gigabytes DDR3, oh my god, that is disgusting. That's not glass, that's just, oh my god, <laughs> look at just pull that. Oh my god, that is... I'm not even putting in like that much force. That is just so flimsy. But yeah, we got two USB ports on the top, microphone port, headphone port. So the graphics card is rocking a HDMI, DVI, and VGA port. And the motherboard actually does have six USB. Two of them are 3.0, so that, that's pretty good. Has an ethernet port, all the standard stuff, really. But let's just plug that in. Right, let's see if the monitor works. To be honest, now that I'm saying that, it wouldn't surprise me if I turned this on and the screen was all... Cracked it isn't cracked, okay. That's not too bad. Look at that. I'm literally only just moving my finger like that and just look at it. The worst part is there's no monitor mounts on the back, so you've got to have it on the stand. Oh well, while that's booting up, let's plug in our mouse and keyboard. Okay, so it does have RGB. Only real problem with that is it's it's very static, not very bright, and if, I, I guarantee you, if I just started to bend this keyboard like I did with the Wish one that I bought, it's probably gonna break. The mouse has RGB, which again is very faint. But you know what? 178 pounds. What can you do? This setup pretty much costs the price of most monitors. One thing that I have noticed is that the mouse literally does not work on just like a normal flat surface. We'd have to invest into a mouse mat because without the mouse mat, it just, it, the mouse doesn't work. Okay, the DPI button literally does nothing. It's there just to be there. Oh my God, there's a lot of lag when I'm typing on the keyboard. All right, let's just get this set up and then we'll compare it to the free one. I'm liking the RGBs though. That is kind of cool. The monitor is a 720p display. The Wi-Fi device doesn't seem to be working. With how laggy everything is, it feels like one of the PCs you'd have at school. But instead, it's just got like RGB slapped all over it. Oh my god, that took like, like genuinely 10 seconds to open up settings. And now settings is closed by itself. Brilliant. Had to run this Ethernet port all the way from downstairs. 
That is so dodge. Oh my god. I've literally got my Ethernet plugged in. Why is it not working? Hang on. I think I've got Wi Fi. Have I got internet? Have I got internet? You haven't got internet. Why have I not got internet yet? Resetting this PC. That just turns the RGB a different colour. I mean, that's cool, but I want to reset the PC. How do I reset the PC? That's a reset button. Why is it not resetting the. Oh god. Turn it off. Oh, this is so much effort, man. This PC, it, it, it is starting to get on my nerves. However, if it is able to run Fortnite, I'll forgive all of it. I don't think, I don't think that did any damage. It's literally, it's literally plastic. I could give this PC away. It'd be insulting to give it away. So bad quality. I honestly think this, this setup's gonna be better. Right, let's see if I can finally get internet now. Oh, no, it's gone white screen. So basically, I've been sitting at this now for the past hour and I can't get the internet to work. So I've had to scavenge this from one of my really, really old PCs, which is like a real old network adapter. Oh, what have I done? Oh my God, have I broke it? Don't say I've broke this. I think it's all right. Okay, I'm about to make some alterations to the PC. I tried to put it in, but the whole thing turned off. So if this turns on, I'll be amazed. I know this now doesn't technically make it a 178 PC. I think that network adapter probably costs about 12 pounds. So it's still under $200. Oh, please, please have internet. Please have internet. Please have internet, please. I've literally spent the last hour trying to diagnose how to get this and this to work, and they just don't, and none of them do. So I'm just praying that like the integrated motherboard thing will work. And luckily it worked. And we were finally able to download Fortnite. However, it was going to take quite a while to download. So while it's downloading, let's check out the free gaming setup that I built and see how it compares to this one. There's not really a way we can benchmark an Xbox versus like an actual PC. So the best thing just to do is just to go on Fortnite and compare them. I'm not really getting any frame drops like whatsoever. It seems just to be like locked at 60. I'm not going above. I'm not really going below 55. Here's stuff. I hear stuff. Let's go over there. Oh, God, I see people. I see people. Come on. Oh, I'm terrible with mouse and keyboard, man. Oh my God, I'm actually terrible. Come on. Yeah! Yes, another kill, okay. The main things that we've really got to compare is how the Xbox and this monitor compare. Because we got these for completely free. Not to mention, we also got a table and a chair. I mean, this thing seems to be running okay. The monitor has got built-in speakers, so that's another plus that it has over this one. You know, it's not amazing for gaming, but the whole thing I got for free. Yeah, if you didn't see the free gaming setup video, basically what happened in two days, I built this entire setup for completely free by using like different methods on how to get free stuff like Facebook Marketplace and just trying to get stuff for free off people and stuff like that. Yeah, overall, this setup is pretty good. So these are the attributes of this free setup here. And now that Fortnite's installed on here, I wanna see how this one compares. Bit of an update. I've been trying to get this to work all day. They're just, the internet hasn't been working. I've had to go through a lot of different troubleshooters and install different things, get things off this computer because this internet isn't obviously working. It's just, it's been a big day. But now it's finally up. We've got Fortnite up on here. Let's just see how this thing compares to the other setup. Okay, I've put things on basically medium settings right now. It seems to be a solid 30 frames in the starting menu, I may add. Let's jump on a game and see how this thing works. It is taking quite a while to load. Oh God, how long is this gonna take? I will say this, it is not the internet that is making it take this long to load up. I normally get like 900 down, 100 up. Like this is not the internet. Oh, oh, the bar went to full. Oh, oh God, we're in. Okay, I'm moving about one frame every five seconds. Oh, okay, and apparently I'm dead. So I think we died there before we even reached like 10 frames a second. To be fair, I am running at medium settings though, so let's just turn everything ultra, ultra low and we'll see if we can actually get any playable games from this. Oh my God, it's so laggy. By the end of this video, I plan to make this run at at least a constant 30 frames a second. If we can make it do that, by just changing a load of settings, I'll be happy. So I put all the settings onto ultra low, but even that was a bit of a struggle. Even in just the loading screen, the maximum frame rate that it can hit is like 24. I'll give it one more chance with these new settings we've added, and if it doesn't do anything, do not ever consider buying this PC. Oh crap, okay, we're back in now. New settings, we're actually getting like 10 frames a second. <laughs> oh my god, look at that building there. I love that, I love that building. Okay, the jump, okay, okay, 20 frames a second. Oh god, running is so janky. Look at that. So compared to the free setup, the maximum frame rate this is reaching is like consistent 10 frames a second. And that's when like nothing's happening. You know what, I'm not playing this anymore. The only game that this thing can probably handle is the Google Dinosaur game. To rate this setup overall out of 10, I'm gonna give it a good two. The monitor isn't terrible like it's bad but it's like it's a monitor the keyboard is shocking the mouse is shocking and the pc 
honestly, I think it'd just be better not including it in this package. However, I know you probably clicked on this video because you're looking for a setup on the cheap. Well, luckily for you, I have a video where I made a free gaming setup in less than 50 hours. And if you want to know how I did that, you can click this video right here.